Yeah, so uh, today we're going to be talking about um, understanding tapasya or top. Um, and basically, uh, top is any type of austerity. Um, that's like a general English translation, but um, it can mean like a lot more than that, un like under under the hood. So uh, we're going to um, attempt to understand it today. So um, the basic definition of top is any type of restraint or any type of penance or austerity that leads to spiritual d d d development. So like there, this can, there's like 12 types of top in, in Jainism. Um, there can, um, there's two categories, the external and the internal. Um, so of the external, um, it's, I think many people would know fasting, uh, opas, um, eating less than the appetite, um, predetermined diet restrictions. So like only eating certain things, um, at certain times, or you, you, you might say like, I'm only going to eat like one thing at this time. Um, Rastiag is to eat um, non-tasty food, so like getting rid of sugar, oil, salt, um, and sweets and other things. And then Kayaklesh is uh, voluntarily tolerating um, hardship. So like that means like sometimes like um, you could be sitting um, under a tree and there could be like a lot of sunlight. Um, so that's like a, an example of Kaya Klesh because you're, you're voluntarily um, s um, sitting under the scorching sun, um, which is um, a form of tapasya, um, as long as um, you do it in a certain way, which we're going to talk about later. Uh, Samanta is, um, is, it's like an interesting one because it's not really talked about that much. But if you, um, let's say you like, you hold a posture for like a long period of time, or like at least like 30 minutes without moving. Um, that's actually that's sandanta because you're holding a very tight position and you're controlling all your senses. Um, internal austerities, um, many of them, uh, many people probably know repentance, prajit, vinay, submissiveness, so like be being humble, service, study of scripture, swadhyay. Um, dhyan, meditation, and, and katsur. So um, one question that many people, people have is, how does not eating cause spiritual d d development? Um, and that that is basically, um, it's sort of like, an, like a self-imposed hardship that you give yourself. And it gives you like an opportunity to exhibit calmness. So you're basically simulating a situation within yourself and you're 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 simulating a hardship, and you're you're um, expected to exhibit calmness during that hardship, and that's what causes you to grow spiritually or like um, burn karma. And um, some things to not do, um, to get the maximum results or to get any result, is you should not um seek any worldly. F fulfillment from the top um no like you can't get like pleasures from it um if you can't if you're if you're like get angry during, during the top or something else then it's not really going to help you um and also a third one which is um kind of uh, not really talked about is that not like revealing your top to anyone that does not need to know is actually counterproductive so um, if you think about it, like a third thinker, when they, if you like, um, heard stories about like um, Maruswami, they would, or like Adinath, they would go and wander until the condition in their mind was met. So they wouldn't tell anyone the condition. So that's like um more of like a maybe for advanced practitioners or serious practitioners, um, but that's like the the uh, like the original way of doing top. Um, and then, as I said before, um, tapasa nirjara cha. So that means, um, like, when you do tap, you're going to burn your, burn your karma. And that's like a reference from the Tathrata Sutra. And that's all I have for now. Thank you.